Here we are at uh, Super Duty Service in Green Valley, Missouri, getting ready to uh, use the new HHC diesel nipple cup remover socket. Um, this is actually their new version. It has a half inch drive, hardened impact steel, uh, black oxide coating, lifetime warranty. Um, this one here, we actually put up to 440 foot pounds before the half inch to three quarter adapter broke on us. Um, and it's still still good as new. Uh, we actually uh, used this and did an impact brake test. Uh, this thing's rated at 1,200 foot-pounds, and it took a good uh, good five minutes to break one of these. So it can impact the hell out of it. It'll work just fine. But today we're going to go ahead and replace the nipple cup seal on an early model oil rail. And let me show you what that looks like in an early model. Check out the other videos to see uh, what this looked like when it was leaking. But if you look down there, you can see that the top injector seal is uh, completely degraded. Usually they'll start to wear from the top down. Like that one has a little wear, it's starting to wear. You can see that ridge around the, the top of the seal. Uh, that's what it starts to look like when they start to leak. And uh, you can tell that this one, this one's getting ready to leak on all of them. But this is the one that actually failed and this is where the leak was. You can actually see the, that the O-ring has completely failed there. Alright, pretty easy. You want to take a real good look at your nipple cups here. We're coming out with a bulletproof nipple cup here in the next couple months. But if you see that ridge right up there at the top, that's where it actually rides against the lock ring. And that is where they wear. The ones from Bostec are made of soft steel. That ridge right there is where it rides against the lock nut. And even like a half a thousandth of wear at that top ridge makes it so there's more slack in there and it doesn't seal good against the o-ring uh, so you want to make sure you take a good look at the, the ball there if you got anywhere at all at the top of your ball uh, you want to look at getting a new nipple cut and uh, we're going to have a bulletproof one come out here pretty quick take out our o-ring here Sometimes they're obviously bad, sometimes they just look a little hard and deformed. Uh, you can see a little ridge on it there. Get it to focus. Right there on the corner there's a ridge there. So this o-ring is hardened and deformed. So I'm going to take a rag, clean out that seat where the nipple cup o-ring rides. Make sure that's nice and clean. You don't want any kind of old o-ring debris in there at all. Take a new uh, heavy duty o-ring. I don't recommend using the one from Boss Tech or any of the other companies because they use a softer Duramita o-ring and uh, they do not hold up as long. I'm just going to dip that in oil. I'll put a link down below where you can get the ultra heavy duty o-rings. You want to make sure everything has a nice coating of oil. Take your nipple cup, dip it in oil, stick it in there. Make sure your lock nut is nice and clean. Put it on there, and uh, we do recommend hand tightening these. You want to hand tighten these and torque them to 100 foot pounds. Uh, 
That's it. So there it is, the new HHC diesel. Black oxide coated, half inch drive, nipple cup o-ring remover socket. And we just fixed this O3 oil rail.